Yo, what's up guys, Timmy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have top five favorite Guerlain Lom EDL fragrances. So this is actually one of my favorite lines of all time when it comes to like designer fragrances. I remember when I discovered this line initially when it first released the first two, Lom uh, EDL, the original EDT, and Lom EDL Cologne. I was at the airport. And at the time, I wasn't even a fragrance enthusiast. Like I, I like fragrances. I own like six bottles for myself. But when I smelled these, I was like, these are so good. They're like so creative. They're so nice. I remember just loving smelling those two. I didn't pick them up, but I remember loving smelling those two. I think that's gotta be back in like 2015, 2014. Yeah, 2014, 2015. Yeah, they were fantastic the first time I smelled them and they're still fantastic now. So let's rank them in top five fashion. I do have an honorable mention and this one I don't own but I have smelled before. It is nice but it's not nearly as nice as the fragrance that it replaced. This one is Lom Ideo Cool. So Lom Ideo Cool is a very minty fragrance. Best for summertime? Absolutely. You're gonna feel very refreshed wearing this one. To me though, it leans a little bit too toothpastey for my liking. Mint is a tough note for me. It can go either way. Mint can become just too toothpastey and that leads me to just not like it because of the association with the product that I use at morning and nighttime. But um, if mint is done right, if mint is done in a very nice kind of creamy or a very nice airy effervescent way, then I like mint. But the mint in Lomido Cool is one that to me, it just doesn't sit way too well with me. I, I would still use Lone Video Cool, but I would like to use Lone Video, the other one that I'm gonna talk about later over the Cool. So yeah, that's why Cool is in the honorable mentions for this list. I don't own it, don't know if I'll ever own it. And yeah, let's move on to the number five. Number five spot here, we have Lone EDL Sport. Now this is the one that it is, nice. It's pleasant, it's nice, but it doesn't have anything that screams specialty to it. You know what I mean? Like a lot of fragrances when you smell them, in this line especially, you smell them, you're like, yeah, they smell very special. They smell nice. There's a common note in the almond, but it's twisted and done in a way that it's different. Like a lot of this whole line is just different and owning all of them never felt redundant to me, except for this one. This one to me, it's almond, but it has so much similarities to a lot of just sporty fragrance out there. It's like they just slap on some clean notes. They just slap on some citrus notes, slap on a little bit of a watery notes onto any fragrance and uh, uh, turns it into a sport basically. So yeah, that's exactly what happened to this one. It smells like watery almond with slight bit of citrus. Just smells like a sport version of Guerlain Lom Ideal. I don't think this one was necessary, to be honest with you. So yeah, not the one of my favorite, but I have worn it a few times when I'm just around the house. And I have to say, it does smell nice. The reason it makes a top five and not Lom Ideal Cool is because this one, I actually enjoy wearing over the cool. It does just smell nice for your day-to-day -day wear when you're just not taking anything too seriously. Maybe you're just cleaning the house, you're just moving stuff around, you just want something that smells clean, but you like the almond DNA. This one is nice, it's just nice, but it's not something that is groundbreaking. That's why it's at the number five, so yeah. Number five spot, Loam Ideal Sport. Best again, summer, spring, anytime really when you're indoors. And for the occasion, anytime it's casual you, it's, no one is going to hate this you can wear this really anytime maybe not for clubbing because eesh, it just doesn't convey anything for clubbing so yeah not for clubbing maybe not for date because that's just a little playing it a little bit too safe there <laughs> if you want, you do if you don't want to convey the fact that you're just a very safe person then don't wear that one but yeah that was number five Lom Ideal sport next one is the original Lom Ideal edt now the original right here is one that I was extremely impressed with at the airport, like I mentioned before, and I'm still impressed with it now. I actually wore it again yesterday. Gosh, the almond sweetness in here is so nice. There's woodiness in here as well. It's just, it leans, oh God, it's like on the borderline of what is considered a men's fragrance in my honest opinion. It's like, it's sweet enough to where I can actually see this also on a female but I see this slightly bit more on a male. It's just, 
it's strange, but it smells just absolutely creative. The almond in here is done extremely nicely. There's that woodiness that adds that little bit of masculine touch that pushes over into the men's fragrance side of things, but it smells absolutely fantastic. This one, the original one, I got a giant bottle of it <laughs> simply because I was gonna buy 50 ml of every single one of these because I, I know I'm not gonna ever finish them. But this one and the next one that's, that's coming, I can only find it for like at 100 mil. So yeah, I have this gigantic bottle. It looks like I really love this fragrance. But yeah, this one is really nice and it's one that you can't go wrong with. Actually from number four all the way to number one or four that you really, really cannot go wrong with. They're all fantastic. They're all very close to each other as well in terms of my liking. Like number four and number three are just margins in difference. Same with like number three and two and two and one are just margin and differences. They're all fantastic. This one, signature scent worthy, good for fall time. Not really for winter time, it is not strong enough for winter time, but fall time, spring time, even summer night time is good for this one. In terms of occasion, like I said, signature, you can wear this one pretty much any time. There's no bad time to wear this fragrance at all. So yeah, Lom EDL, EDT, the original one right here, number four spot. Number three, we're moving on to the heavy, the winter, the winter, winter, winter one of this line. This one is Lom Ideal Intense. And this one right here is slightly bit intensey, thick, rich. This one is just gorgeous. But this is the least, I would say, the least mass appealing one of the bunch. And probably right now, besides Lom Ideal Cool, is the hardest one to find cheap this one is quite expensive 100 ml of this one on ebay goes for around a hundred dollars so not at all a cheap fragrance but damn does it smell really good it smells just absolutely fantastic the almond in here is made richer with the kind of the instancy note the darker nuances really pull down that almond instead of being a fresh bright sweet almond it's really toned down it's dark and it's definitely a masculine scent. This is the only one in this line that I would say is 100% a masculine fragrance. It just smells absolutely fantastic. And this is one that you would wear definitely in the winter time. It's rich, it's thick. So you're not gonna wear this one in the summertime anytime soon. You might wear this one in the spring, might wanna wear this one in the fall, but definitely winter time is the one to wear this. This is the heaviest one out of the whole line. And for me, in terms of vacation, like I said, again, it's not the most mass appealing of all scents. So in terms of occasion, you're not gonna find too many occasions that you can wear this one in very comfortably, I would say. It's not something that's off-putting, but there's a lot of other fragrances that fit a lot of those other occasions than this one. This one, I would say, is more on the novelty side. So you would wear this one whenever you feel like you wanna wear this one basically. But my recommendation is that wear this one outdoors, winter outdoors when you're taking a walk or something like that. When you're going to the park, when you're enjoying just the outdoor air, this thing will smell gorgeous for you. So yeah, that's the only time I really recommend you wear this. But like I said again, wear this whenever you feel like wearing this. Number two spot, here we have the summer release that's got discontinued. This one is Lom Ideal Cologne. Now this is the one that Lom Ideal Cool is actually replacing. So that's sad, that's sad because this one is way better. This one is Almond Creamy Summery Fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. Citrus Clean Almond Creamy. Very, very creative summer composition. It's one that is, I like this far beyond Lom Ideal Cool. And that's why Lom Ideal Cool is not on this list, dude, because it just doesn't compare to this one. It's replacing one of my favorites. That's why I'm a little bit salty. At it. That's why I didn't even throw it on the list. I just like shove it. So I was like, how dare you <laughs> replace this one? This one you can still find relatively cheap. Like a 50 ml still goes for $30. It used to be 20 though. So the price is slowly going up as demand goes up for this one. So yeah, this one is one that I can see actually becoming more expensive in the future. Kind of like what happened to Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels. It used to be $20, now it's $300. So this is one that I actually can see going up in price in the future. So pick up yourself a bottle of this one if you can. Even if you don't like it, I guess. I don't see how you can't like this fragrance, but even if you don't like this one all so much, just buy a couple bottles, save it for two, three years, and you can make a lot of money back for yourself. And that's one, one of my recommendations to you guys. If you guys are looking to flip some bottles, this one is really nice. So yeah, Loam Indio Cologne. It's one of my favorite summertime fragrance ever. I'm very reluctant to wear this now. I need to get a bag of bottle for myself before I start wearing it heavy again, just so I can feel a little bit safer <laughs> wearing this one so I don't run out myself. So yeah, number two spot, Loam Indio Cologne. Number one spot, 
This one is just fantastic. This one is a date night fall and winter time fragrance. It's really, really good. Springtime as well. This one is Lom EDL EDP. This one takes the original DNA, add cherry, which adds a lot more than you would think. Cherry brings so much complexity to this one. It brings a unique type of sweetness. It also brings a unique type of just a little bit of a scratchiness feeling that comes with the cherry. It just smells overall just very nice. This one has a little bit of a gourmandish touch over the EDT version as well. So this is to me an improved version of the EDT. It has a lot more character, a lot more depth, a lot more complexity in this one. Hence why this one is at the number one spot. I really love this one. At one point in time, this was one of the harder fragrances to find from this line, Loma DL but now it's readily available everywhere on this counter. So go ahead and pick yourself up a bottle. It's also not that expensive as well. It runs around like $30, $40, which is really, really nice for a scent like this. The quality, by the way, on all Guerlain fragrances are gonna be phenomenal. This one is another really, really phenomenal Guerlain fragrance. So at $20, $30, or even at $40, $50, you're gonna get a quality that is comparable to a low-end niche fragrance. At that price, it is an absolute steal for, I would say all Guerlain fragrances are absolute steal at $40. So yeah, Loam EDL EDP. Wear this one, again, fall, winter time, spring time. Wear this one on a date. It smells very sexy, appealing. It comes off like a nice guy cologne, but also an interesting type of nice guy cologne. You're not trying too hard, but you're just so su subtly attractive when you wear this one. That's the, the vibe that it gives off. So yeah, this one, Loam EDL EDP. I'm fixing the label a little bit because mine is kind of falling off here because I accidentally bumped it one time. But yeah, Loam EDL EDP, really enjoyed this one. My number one spot in the Guerlain line, absolutely this one. All right guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your top five down in the comment section below and don't forget to check out decampboutique.com. We do sell decans of a lot of these fragrances that we talk about. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, bye.